when you first get this uh, and you open up the side flaps on it, uh, inside there's a whole bunch of packaging uh, that we need to get out. That'll help it vent. And so we'll remove all this, all sorts of random stuff. Um, be kind of careful, there's a lot of wires and stuff that can get caught up into it. Um, also inside here, one of the packages is going to be uh, wrapped up a little bit differently. And this ends up being the mouse uh, that controls a lot of the games that are played on there. Um, it also has an on off switch on the back. So when you're ready, make sure you turn that on and then try to turn it off to save the batteries. Uh, this part here, that's the camera and that's the projector. So we need to flip this around. So it's facing either the wall. If you have a white wall, it works very good just shining on a white wall um, with kind of lower lights. Um, and then when you pop open this side, it ends up being the same. You're going to take some stuff out. FedEx is usually really hard on the speakers. I'm trying to get those kind of fixed. Uh, but for now, you might have to just kind of take some of those things out. Uh, and then just set them kind of either back in there or on the side out like that until we can figure out how to get those kind of fixed inside there. Uh, additionally, the keyboard is in one of these outside flaps. You simply remove the foam and the keyboard is found right inside there. Uh, I usually set that right up on top like that. So then you pull the plug out of the side that has the projector in it there, and that can then plug into your basic extension cord uh, to an outlet. You then turn on the projector by hitting the blue dot. It takes about a minute to warm up. And then over here on this side, you hit the power button for the computer. And again, that's gonna take us a minute or so. And it'll start kind of showing up up on there. And then in the front, once it's warmed up, sometimes the screen is a little off. So there's a couple ones in here. Here you have your keystone right in here, which will move that back and forth. And then right in here, you have your telephoto and the focus right in there. So you can kind of see the telephoto kind of gives you a little bit of zooming in or out. A lot of times it's easiest just to move the table though on that. If it's not quite uh, centered, these legs unroll and those, uh, those can raise up the front or the back to get it positioned pretty good. The next step then is to calibrate it. So to calibrate it, you're going to turn on the mouse uh, onto uh, the power there. And then on the screen, uh, if we go down this corner button right down in here, there is a button that is brown. Uh, and basically, if you right click on that brown one, uh, there's an option there that says return to menu. And so what we're going to want to do is go to that return to menu and click on that. And that's going to take us to the spot where we can calibrate it. So I'm going to go to return to menu. It's going to pull up this particular screen, screen here. I'll just focus that a little bit better. Okay. And then from here, what we have to do is we're going to go ahead and do the configure. We click on that. And then let's just do the full setup. If you're setting it up somewhere else, that's the best option to do. And then here it's just looking for the camera to be in this bottom one, pretty much centered. Uh, it wants it to look something like that one, uh, not too dark, uh, not too far away. So this is the camera. Sometimes through being shipped, uh, it gets bumped. So you can uh, loosen this knob right here to kind of adjust it. You can see uh, we seem to be off a little bit to one side. So I'm just going to move this, to get it kind of centered in there. And then I will retighten that knob right down here. Uh, you also have some knobs right up in here. Uh, those, as I move those up and down, you'll notice it get uh, blurry. So you want to get it focused. And then there's a second knob right here that opens and closes, I think, like an aperture so it can get it darker or too light. That's going to be a secret um, depending on the amount of light in the room. And so you might just play with that just a little bit to get it pretty nice in there. Once that's all set, um, usually I just hit next right down here in the bottom right corner. Sometimes I have to adjust the brightness in here, either up or down. 
uh, but usually adjusting that camera for the brightness seems to be the best. Uh, then I just hit next. This is where you don't want to bump it. It's actually going through and registering how much light is there. I've done this a lot of times without a canopy and just put the screen right against the wall or shot right against the wall. And it does really good. You don't really even need this, this easy up. Um, a lot of times it's way more hassle than it's worth. So it's going through again, registering how much light is kind of hitting the screen, I believe. And then it's going to come up and you're going to have to kind of basically shoot the guns to make sure they're working. Um, and so you have these targets in each corner. And what you do is you, you take a gun from where the kids would be standing and you kind of aim at that first target up there and uh, you shoot at it a couple times. I'm trying to aim, but not really. And if it's hitting a little low, what you end up doing, or usually it seems like it's hitting high, uh, you go to the keyboard and on the keyboard, turn it on. And let's say I'm hitting a little low up there. I just simply do the up arrow to move it up or the down arrow to move it down or left or right. And as I do that, you'll see that group there. It'll start moving that group up and then I can move it over to the right. And you'll do that at each one of these corners um, on the screen. All right, so I've done it kind of for each one. You can see I finished up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, once that's all done there, uh, what you want to do here is you don't want to exit out. Exit out takes it all away. Um, you pretty much just hit the home button right over here. And then you hit the start training. Uh, don't exit out again. Nothing will, will really do much. You hit start training and that takes you back to the home screen. And then these are your basically your three icons here that you would be doing. Um, you simply click on that. Uh, you can use the mouse, keyboard, um, or the gun to basically shoot at which one. And then it should kind of start on up. Uh, you would have to turn the volume on the speaker up. Uh, and then it should be ready to go. And to get out of the games, uh, you can easily just go to the escape button. When you hit that, it will just take you right out. And you can hit the escape button again and it takes you back to the home screen. So that escapes the way to go um, from game to game. Also to get out of here, uh, if you hit the escape key, it takes you right back to the home screen.